Sam and Joyce here, the uh, old couple. Very old couple. Yeah, we're old. Very, very old. <laughs> very, very old. Well, anyway, this video was taken during the three-day red snapper season on the East Coast. And we were about 20 miles offshore. And I was fishing with live grunts for trying to catch a big red snapper, which I did. And Joyce, she was fishing with squid, trying to catch anything she could catch, so we at least have something for dinner. And what she ended up catching was quite a few squirrel fish. It was kind of different, we thought. But anyway, you want to tell them what you did with the squirrel fish? Well, we brought the six of them home. Sam filleted them, which were very hard to fillet. Uh, I looked at the meat, and it was very, very, very firm meat. So I figured, well, I'll make some fish cakes out of them. So I hope you enjoy the video. They got a squirrel fish. Watch out for the uh, venom. Okay. They're kind of fair eating. Watch out, I told you to watch out for them. They'll stick you with them fins. Yeah, they like a regular fish. No, there's no limit on there's that. There's no limit on the uh, squirrel? Nobody. Nah. Got another squirrel fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man, it don't look like a squirrel fish. No, yeah, that rod don't look like a squirrel fish. Another squirrel fish. We never caught a squirrel fish ever in this trip. How many we got so far? Six. We got three. Six, five or six. Oh, you catch a squirrel fish. It's not a grunt. Squirrel fish. Everywhere as we stop, the whole bottom's full of squirrel <laughs> fish. Squirrels keep getting bigger. There's a bigger squirrel fish. Yeah, look at the size of that guy. He might actually have some meat on him. He might have a squirrel fish or two grunts. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Squirrel fish. No more squirrel fish. We cleaned for three yesterday. They're like cleaning iron. There's hardly any meat in them. And you gotta watch out for those. I'm scared. What do they call them? The venom in them. They'll stick it. Other cousins down there? Squirrel? Other ribs? That's a good squirrel fish. Yeah, it looked almost like a lane snapper with yeah. the coloring, except for his big eyes. Yeah, those big eyes. Well, we caught four squirrel fish. I got them cleaned up, and Joyce uh, looked at the texture of the meat, and she thought they might make uh, good fish cakes. So she's going to show you how she's going to make them. Well, first, we um, grind the saltine crackers very fine. Uh, you can also buy cracker crumbs already prepared, but I prefer to make my own. Okay, next, what I did with the squirrel fish is I put some uh, Old Bay black pepper and salt on the fish. So what I'm gonna do now is dredge it in flour and uh, two tablespoons of flour and a tablespoon of cornstarch. So then we'll take and fry the fish. lightly browned on both sides. The 
as you can see, the fish has got like a nice hard texture to it. But when you crumble it up into the fish cakes, it won't be too mushy. Okay, the, the fish is almost done. You can see the texture of the fish is, uh, it stays together real well. If you normally fish, you can't do that with when you uh, fry it. So they're just about done. Okay, our next step is to saute the vegetables, which is a tablespoon of red pepper, two tablespoons of celery, and a tablespoon of onion. You want to chop them up fine, and in the pan you put about two tablespoons of oil. And you'll saute them until they're soft. Why they're sauteing, um, you want to cut up your fish. This, this fish is tough so it pulls apart. You might have to use a knife to pull it apart. Okay, you're going to set that aside. Next step, your vegetables, they're just about done. So we're going to put in a cup of chopped spinach, very fine. And you'll soften that up a little bit. The spinach gets on, you can see it starting to wilt. Then you take um, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Teaspoon of Old Bay, tablespoon of flour, and just mix that up. And you're going to add an eighth of a cup cracker crumbs and a quarter cup of milk and you want to just thicken that up a little bit crumble it up a little bit. As I said, the squirrel fish is kind of tough. And mix it up. It's going to take just a little bit more milk. Once you get that in looking like this, a little on the thick side, you just dump it on your plate. Let it cool down a little bit. Once it's cool, you'll make um, patties out of it or cakes, whatever you want to call them. And it takes probably about, depending on, I use it sometimes a quarter of a cup to make one. Stick this in the freezer, it'll cool down a little bit so you can handle it and make the, the... So the fish cakes are cool enough to handle. Just add them up. Dip them in your cracker crumbs. Add 
them out. Like it's basically feel like you make a hamburger patty. Flatten them out a little bit. Well, we put a tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of oil. don't want to get that grease too hot because then they start burning. Basically all you're doing is browning each side because the fish is cooked and the other everything's cooked so you're just wanting to get heat uh, heated back up again. Okay, what do you want to do is get your rolls ready. I just made these today. You get them ready while your fish cakes are cooking. Sam likes his tartar sauce. You put that on the bread. The fish cakes are done. Slice of tomato on there. Steak fries. So what do you call them? Do squir squirrel fish fish cakes? Or squirrel fish cakes. Squirrel fish cakes. cakes. Okay, well if you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.